Now that I'm home, I have access to my library, finally. I didn't really bring any books to L.A., but they're all here, and, well, not all of them. Actually, a lot of my books are, like, either upstairs or in the basement, but here's a lot of my favorites are in here. So let me try to pick out some highlights. I like this book a lot. Uh, Sula by Toni Morrison. She's one of my favorite authors. I used to not like Toni Morrison, but I had to read The Bluest Eye, like, more than any other book in college. Like, I was, like, assigned it in, like, every single class, and, like, Bluest Eye became one of my favorite books. I, that's my favorite Toni Morrison novel. I like Sula a lot, too, and Beloved is good. I had to read Beloved a lot. That was a fly that I just tried to uh, kill. Anyway, um, what are some other great books? Ooh, I love this book, and I'm kind of psyched to be home so I can read it. Psychotic uh, Reactions in Carburetor Dung by uh, Lester Bangs. And, like, he's, like, the king of rock criticism. Like, Philip Seymour Hoffman plays him in, uh... Almost Famous, and, like, it's a really, uh, his writing is awesome. Um, oh, this is, this is probably my f one of my favorite books. I mean, I really love this book, and I'm kind of glad I'm home so I can read it again. It's Geek Love by Catherine Dunn. It's really twisted, and, um, I found out about it because she had a quote on the cover of, um, this one book by James Gunn, who used to write for Troma, this book called The Toy Collector, and Catherine Dunn had a quote on the cover of it, so I was like, well, I'll check her book out, and, like, this shit's... <laughs> Makes the toy collector look like fucking How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. Anyway, uh, this is another good book, White Teeth by Zadie Smith. I really like this one. She's a British author. She's really young, too. Look at how old she is. But um, I haven't read any of Zadie's other books, but I really like this one a lot. And um, let's see. Culture Jam. This is by the guy who, wrote, who created uh, Adbusters. Um, I used to not like Adbusters. I thought this guy, I don't know how to pronounce his name, like Cal Lazen or something. But, like, I thought he was kind of an asshole, but I read his, I bought his book and I read it, and he's got a lot of great points. Advertising really is fucking evil. Uh, this is uh, Goodbye Columbus by Philip Roth. It's one of my favorite uh, authors. He's extremely prolific. He's released, like, a zillion books. Um, I've read a couple of them, like uh, The Human Stain also. It was turned into a movie with Anthony Hopkins and Nicole Kidman. The movie's pretty bad, but... The book's excellent. It's about this, uh... Well, I, I don't want to tell you about The Human Stain, actually. You should fucking read it. This book rules. Anyway, um... What are some other books? Oh, Ring Lardner. This guy, he's really cool. He wrote, like, these, like, baseball stories and stuff. This is, like, haircut. His books are actually pretty hard to find. Um, I was able to get them used. I found a lot of his collections, but Ring Lardner's great. I don't know if his shit's back in print or not. It's been a while since I was, like, collecting a lot of books. Uh, Junkie by William S. Burroughs. Really like that book. Um, this one's weird. I actually mentioned this in a vlog. It's called uh, Perfect Example by John Porcelino and like Porcelino. I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but it's like a Chicago independent comic, and like it's about this kid who's like in the eighties. He's like really depressed and like he like loves like Husker Du and like he's like really into punk and shit. This is really cool, and I don't know if it's still available, but um, I like it a lot. And, like, on the, going with Underground Comics, um, The Playboy by Chester Brown is really great. Chester Brown is a great, uh, comic artist. He, uh, he's friends with, like, Joe Matt and, like, um, Dave Sim, Creative Service. His, his drawings are, like, really cool and, like, I mean, the, the pages are really sparse. Like, Joe Matt's shit's really cluttered, but Chester Brown's is kind of, like, you know, spaced out. The Playboy's great, um, but I actually like his other book more. I forgot what it's called. But I got it in here somewhere. Um, let's see. What else? What do I have that's good? God, I have so much crap, too. Like Stephen King books. I used to be obsessed with Stephen King. Tommy knockers. Um, I mean, Stephen King's not crap. Stephen King's actually really great, but... Night by Eli Wiesel. This is a great book. I love this one. It's probably the best Holocaust book, in my opinion. I really like it. Um... I mentioned this in a vlog, too. Uh, Herman Melville's uh, Billy Blood and Other Stories. I, I'm, this has uh, Bartleby in it, and Bartleby is one of my favorite short stories of all time. Crispin Glover was actually in a movie adaptation of it recently, but the movie's really hard to find. Uh, Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence. I really like D.H. Lawrence a lot. Great author. Um, I majored in English in college, so that's why I have like a lot of this shit. This book, I tried to get into this, and I just, I hated this, of Human Bondage by Somerset Mom. Like, I really did not dig it. I was, like, so bored, I wanted to fucking blow my brains out. You know, it's another corny-ass book. 
Fucking Frankenstein. Have you ever read this shit? This is so fucking cheesy. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess, you know, whatever. Mary Shelley. I'll give her props for, like, being a romantic novelist. But, like, fucking... This is so corny. Like, the monster and, and Frankenstein have, like, a psychic connection. And, like, I don't know. If you've ever seen the Kenneth Branagh adaptation of Frankenstein, it's, it's, it's a lot like the book and, like... I don't know. I mean, I'm not the biggest Frankenstein fan in the world. Like, some people think, like, Bride of Frankenstein is, like, the greatest movie of all time. I don't know. It's all right. It's Rum Punch by Elmore Leonard. Elmore Leonard's a Detroit novelist. And uh, he writes a lot of, like, crime books. This is what Jackie Brown is based on. Um, he changed her name from, like, Jackie Burke and, like, switched it around a little bit. But uh, Rum Punch rules, and it's way better than Jackie Brown. If you ever want to fucking... Oh, my God, this book... This is this is one of my favorite books. Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. This is like, I mean, Toni Morrison wouldn't be here if fucking it weren't for fucking Zora Neale. And like, um, Oprah made this into a movie with like Halle Berry, but I don't know. Oprah's movies suck shit. I don't know. Whatever. The book is excellent. I don't know how you could turn this into a movie because it's kind of all about the writing. But I don't know. I give credit to Oprah for fucking trying. Let's see, uh, there's a bunch of other shit in here, but I don't want to waste all of your time. I've been making really long-winded, boring videos lately. Oh, this book's pretty good. Breton's Manifestos of Surrealism. If you're into surrealism, maybe check this out. It's pretty cool. Um, Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Actually, this is basic writings. Um, ah, Descartes. I think, therefore, I am. I've had to... Fucking think about this guy a lot on trips. Like, am I real? Am I am I actually here? If I'm really tripping out, I'll be like, well, Descartes said, I think, therefore, I am. But anyway, um, yeah, pretty cheesy. Uh, I like F. Scott Fitzgerald a lot. Tender is the Night. I actually never got around to reading this one, but I've read most of his stories. I mean, like, uh, Gatsby and, like, his short stories and stuff. And I've actually started Tender is the Night a bunch of times, but I never ended up finishing it. My mom read it, that's why it's in here, but... And this is... Th these are my books. My mom's books are actually upstairs. On a, sh a couple of them are mixed in, though. Um... Oof. Well, I was mentioning King Lear in my uh, Shakespeare vlog the other day. I love this book. This is... This play is excellent. Shakespeare, I mean... It begins and ends with Shakespeare. That's all there is to it. Uh... What else? This is actually a really good book if you're depressed. It's called Undoing Depression. I hate, like, self-help books and stuff, but um, I started reading this in Borders one day by Richard O'Connor, Undoing Depression, and it's actually, like, the best book I've ever read about depression. Like, it really... This has actually helped me out a lot, and um, I've had some people read it, and they've said the same things to me. Um, my Bible, I'm not religious at all, but my friend uh, gave me this, and... I kind of cherish it. I, I, I don't... I mean, sometimes I think religion is evil, and sometimes I think it's great. It depends on what you do with it. But I mean, like, there's a lot of positive messages in the Bible, and, uh, you know, whatever. Last Exit to Brooklyn by Hubert Selby Jr. This is a good book. When I was studying uh, fiction writing at Columbia College, this is, like, all we read. That's, like, what they try to teach the kids, just to be a bunch of Hubert Selby Juniors. Uh, James Joyce, Portrait of an Artist as a Young Man. That's a good book, too. Um... Oh, this book is so good, but no one knows about it. It's called Amped by John Resch. And, like, this, my, my girl, well, this ex-girlfriend actually had this. She got it free because she went to, like, she knew the guy who wrote it. And he's in this punk band. And he wrote about just, like, their time on the road together in the late 80s. And, like, this is a really cool book. Um, especially, like, if you're in a band and you're on tour and shit. Um, you might want to check out John Resch's Amped. It's really hard to find, but whatever. Um, waiting for Godot. I actually don't like this at all, but I'm very inspired by it. I, I, I really like the idea of, like, a whole movie taking place, like, in one, um, place. Uh, here's some, like, McSweeney's shit. Uh, I used to, like, get a lot of McSweeney's books and, like, stuff like that. But I got really sick of McSweeney's, like, once they got too cute and stuff. Hmm, let's see. Well, I will leave you at that. So, you know, grab these books if you want to read some good shit. Here's The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. It's awesome. Such a good book. Um, fucking yeah. 
I don't know. There's a bunch more shit that I love in here, but like, whatever. Oh, uh, this is funny as hell. This is state by state with the state. It's like the state wrote this fake travel guide. It's really hard to find. I don't know, you might be able to find it on Amazon used or something. I don't know if it's still in print, but it's actually really cool. And, um, yeah, so, awesome. Fahrenheit 451. It's a good one, too. Ray Bradbury said, stay drunk on your work so the realities of the world don't kill you. I like that quote a lot.